play that the Redskins popularized back in the early 80s. And one back teams like East Carolina love to run and get those great big old linemen pulling out in front of a back like Harley. He's hard to see, hard to tackle. Averaging over 10 yards a carry today. 109 yards. And East Carolina. That one going on in the carrier, yeah. don't, don't they? Yeah, Syracuse was cruising until today, huh? First and 10, the Pirates. Four minutes, 38 seconds remaining here in the first half. Three-point game. As Harley gets the opening. That's how he started the game with a 75-yard scamper. Will they catch him? And no. Scott Harley will go all the way. And East Carolina just that quickly retaliates for six. Well, whatever his dad said to him is right. It's working. And his dad was a running back in high school up there in New Jersey. And he says when he comes off the field, he always looks to his dad to see if he has any advice. I think whatever he told him here was right. Follow your blocking, cut to the outside, and then turn on the Jets. Right now, nobody is fast enough to catch this man as he opens it up on the sideline. Again, another long run for a touchdown. The first one, 75 yards. This time, 60 yards. I went from, instead of reading the sports section, which I cared about, and went from current events. You know, you know, I can't be so stuck on sports. You have to have, be versatile in everything, just in case if, if I'm doing the interview like we're doing, yeah. if somebody asks me a question on a current event, if I don't know what's going on, yeah, yeah. I look I look ignorant. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, you're not dealing with the current event that's going yeah, you don't on. Know, you, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff can affect you, some may not. Yeah, some may not. But so it's good to be knowledgeable. To, let me see, to take that dumb jock stigma. Because mm -hmm. you see yeah, the times yeah, where they yeah, ask yeah, a, yeah, yeah. A, job, a basic question of what's going on. Like, yeah, because that's why I asked you, because a lot of people, yeah. like a manly, what he couldn't even read. Yeah, he couldn't even read. You yeah. know, and they just pass you through. Yeah. Like, you don't got to just play ball. Just play ball. But as a man, I wouldn't feel comfortable with somebody pushing me through just to say, right. you ain't got to do that. Because you got to feel good for yourself. Yeah, you you got to yeah. for your own self. Like, I can do this. Like, I don't when, need when, to you, do. When, you, when you graduate and you go get that degree, you stole that degree. Actually, yeah. You know, you just like you would say when you're playing football, if you're not, if you're on scholarship and you're not giving your all, you're stealing from the school. When you think about it like that, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's stuff you deal with today. If you go to work and you're not working, you're stealing. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fashion, yeah. Yeah, so why wouldn't you give your full potential in everything you do? Like, I still take the football concept and the football mentality to work with. And, you know, my fiance tells me, sometimes I'm sick as a dog, but... I know if I don't go to work, I can't provide for my household That's right. and my That's right. daughter. That's right. You know what I mean? There's times I'm sick and I pick up my daughter. She don't know that. That's right. But when I drop her off, right. it's, no, yeah, it's, no, yeah, it's right. no baby take off. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, no you know, days off. No in the spring, you know, I work a rotating shift. So one week I'm on days and the next week I'm on nights. So when I'm on days, my daughter knows my schedule. She, when you come, in, I'm ready. Mm. So it, it's. It still can happen with people being pushed through school, but if you're oh, not a man, thing. if you're not a man to sit there and say, no, I need the help. Yeah, and people, right. don't, people don't notice they it. Me. Yeah, I have dyslexia. Mm, I didn't know that. But I found out when I went to ECU that I had it. So they sent me to a specialist and they were saying, he has dyslexia, but he needs to learn in a different way. If I'm sitting up here and I'm lecturing for two, three hours, I can only keep up with one or two words you say, but if you give it to me on paper, mm -hmm. I have it. I have a, uh -huh. so a document, yeah, something physical, physical, physical form. so I can sit and say, okay, I read it for an hour, come back to it, read it. You know what I mean? And you know, memorize it. But if I say if I know it forwards and backwards, I know it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with the dyslexia thing, it's it's not like I'm ignorant or I don't. I learn in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you know, I, and I was, I don't have not ashamed of it. No, like, you know, I would ask a young lady. Come on, that's your truth yeah. anyway. You lost or what? You know, I would ask a young lady. Look, I'm having a hard time keeping up with the notes. If you let me copy your notes, what do what what do you need from me? You know, it's only yeah, like yeah. A, a bartering system. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I guess he's like, let's copy off of your notes. They know they're gonna let you get it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I'm like, like look, well, you got to give me something to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I was like, look, you know, what 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 do you mean? You want pizza? You know, yeah, something, got something got simple. Got but it. the people that were in my class, they were like, Scott, you know, you okay? You know, here I don't mind helping you. Right, and it, right, and right, it right. took a while because it was almost like a stigma or embarrassing, mm -hmm. but. 
I'm not the first and I'm not the last. That's right. Yeah. Word, so word, they, you know what I'm saying? Word. I'm not the first football player and I'm not the last. I'm not the first football player that did, that had a chance and that went and it really wasn't what, what I wanted. What and then I was like, okay, I'm cool with it. All right, now, <clears throat> how many years did you do in um, ECU? How many years was that? I was there from 94 through 97. So, 94 to 97. Right? Yeah, so really I played as they, I was red shirted, so I sat out the first year. Okay. Which and was 94. 94, okay. So yeah. I played 95, 96, 97. So yeah. really 96, that was, your, that was the super year for you. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that was, the, that was basically, you, uh, for that 96 year, you had 1,745 yards. Yeah. You know, um, I think you hold, you hold that, right? You yeah, hold right. that, you hold that, yeah. yeah. And I think you hold another record. I believe you're you're the second. You hold another record. I don't think nobody else is close enough. Matter of fact, what it is, let me tell you, I got my stats right here, but let me see what it was, what you did. Three hundred and seven times. The second highest amount ever in the season, I believe. Yeah, Russian Russian catch. Yeah. 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 So I'm right here about that, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm on. Yeah. It's more records, but you good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's more records. It's all right. But you good. <laughs> all right. Now let me ask you something. Um, I mean, not to um, be on the subject, but when's the first time you ever um, witnessed racism? When you ever, you know, even from here? Yeah, as a child. Oh. As a child. All right. As a child. I mean, yeah. You I mean, you're playing. That? You're playing with somebody of a different race, and this. Yeah. Come on, let's go. And you're like, what did I do? And the child is like, what did I do? So it's not like... Oh, you see it through the parents? Of yeah, through the parents' eyes. Like, well, you know, how old do you think it was now? When you realize, like, this is American racism? Seven. Okay. You know what I'm well, saying? It, it happens, but... Yeah, racism's not, not going nowhere. It's, it's not, not going, going nowhere, nowhere but... Going nowhere. I think... When you were younger, it didn't matter, but now that you're older, it's starting to come back. Where it's... I don't care if I don't like you, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, care, yeah. you know, whether you're, you're, whether you're black, white, or whatever. And I tell people. They're bad black people, they're bad yeah, white people, that's right. they're bad Hispanic people. Everybody has their people. They're like Christianity, you have bad. Yep, 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 and you everything. Have bad. You know, there's always saying 25% and everything. Yeah. Yep, 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 so yep. you have yep. people that are just negative. Girl, yeah. But I try to positive energy. Yeah. And I used to be negative, but now it's like. You was kind of like a bully too. Let's get that on. Let's get that on. Uh, Come on, man. You was a kind of bully too. Uh, I remember he was young. He was a bully. I remember for it. He was bullying on my little cousin. I was like, my cousin was big as hell. I was like, fight him, man. And he was like, cousin, uh, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just. He wasn't bully, y'all. A little bit. But at the time coming up, you just didn't want nobody. You, you, rumors travel fast. That's right. That's right. And you wanted about old Sky to pump. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, and you know the up the hill, down the hill thing. Oh, he from up the hill. Okay, yeah, I'm from yeah, up the yeah, hill. Yeah, what, what's what's that mean? Yeah, you I can so. knock him out just well. Yeah. You can knock him out. Fact. So it's Fact. just. Fact. But you, that stigma. That stigma. Yeah. It was yeah. like. Yeah, geographical area. Yeah, people would say. Big. You think you better because you up the hill. I that, that's not my that. house. That's not my house anyway. That's my grand. I was telling yeah. you, that's my grandparents' that, house. That's, that's the house my parents choose to live. Yeah, that's not mine. Matter of fact, I got pictures. My grandparents, they came from the Boston way. Yeah, you know, my parents grew, grew up in the home. So I'm like, come my on, My parents man. had an apartment in Stephen Manor. Yes, yeah, so like, come on, man. So, I okay, know. my thing is, if you stay stagnated, you're going to stay stagnated. That's right. You're going to stay in the same spot. So it's about elevating. Back to a fact. It's about elevating. Why would you want to elevate? Why would you want to go and explore the world? Like, or, you know, or, you know what I'm saying? Or have your kids. Kids go through that yeah. struggle now that you had to go through. Like I see what, what my parents gave me as a child. I want to give my daughter That's right. ten times more than they gave me. Whether it's sitting down and correcting her at the time she needs to be corrected, or even just sitting down and saying, what's going on at school? Exactly. Just having a conversation, whether it's over ice cream, so she don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Daddy, mm -hmm. I got this, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that happens, because, you know, we're such the tech age. Yeah, Texas, yeah, that's right, this, that's right. I gotta do we're this. losing our mathematics yeah. with that. You we're know losing what I'm our math with that. So, so they take your phone, you don't know nobody's number. Yeah, so like when, like me and my family, we'll sit down at the table and put our phones down and just that's talk. Right. That's how you're supposed to do it. Or if you get in the car, turn off the music. Yeah. So now it's quiet, now you have to talk. Yeah, exactly. So, yep. Just get back to old school values, you know. We, we, we so you to took beatings then, right? <laughs> Even though now they would say it's child abuse. Yeah, man. You know? uh, I went to my mother's house the other day and did something. She's got, I'll beat you. I'm like, I'm 42. <laughs> but it's, 
you know, my parents are 60, 66, 67. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to disrespect you. You have to oh, I'm old. I'm not, that's still my mother and my father. Regardless of what you know, yeah. of them. And that's if God right. forbid something happened to him, I would feel disgusting in my stomach. You know, they just say, why would you diss an old person when they can give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Because that's what definitely, we all seek. Definitely straight wisdom. Definitely. You know definitely. what I'm saying? So, definitely. any conversation, the person might be talking out your head, there's something you can take from it. That always is the best part. Yeah, you always, yeah. always yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just take this. Reward. That's right. I'm just gonna take this little 15 minute bit that he was saying, but what he said makes a lot of sense. Go so indeed. Yeah, so, so indeed. Now, now when you went to college, what was the the um, what was the ethnic? You know, like you know, was it more white? It was a predominantly white, white school, but okay. I was still coming home. At you, least do you, once did you get any racism in there? Because you was oh yeah, what? like you know, um, it was a predominantly like you know the. The white people had like certain bars that they would attend. Like when we would go, mm -hmm. okay, you gotta have a membership. Okay, how much is the membership? Twenty five. Okay, I got twenty five. Well, you gotta have a college shirt. Oh, okay, I got a college shirt. shirt. Okay, you but can't you have boots. You can't have that on. Yeah, oh, you gotta have jeans. I got. So it went, it went from got that, but it was, it was a mixture. But they're doing it right around here still. Yeah, <laughs> but it's more like the concept of um, being perceived because you know you're a muscular guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you play football, yeah, but so what? But it's coming to party, but there's nothing to do on campus, so why, you know. Yeah, but that was never really my thing yeah. anyway, so. But let me ask you when did you become like a star out there? Like they realized, like, you know, was you ever getting fake tips? Like, yo, that's Scott, that's the man, that's the man. Nah, because even if I did get it, I still wouldn't be like. You still humble? Yeah, like, I'm not, I feel weird. Because my father and my mother will always tell me this. The same way they can shoot you up, they can shoot you down. Actually. So. Because I'm going to ask you something. All right. So what happened in '95? You know, you you know, after like 4.3, like what was it? The line? Was it the line you had? Well, '95 was just you know I was a freshman. Cause '97, '97, you lost the line then, right? Yeah, I lost the line. I like yeah. I think I had like you lost out of the, the five starters, I lost four when we walked back. Oh home. man! So it's basically we lost the big dogs and we had the little puppies who had the hump, but they just didn't have the experience. experience. It's just like starting a new job. Yeah, because you, you need a line. You yeah. need a line. Basically, that's and the end of the yes. day. It's technical. Yes. Okay, block down. But if this man leave, I got to pick him up. So it was unsure. Got it. Unsure of themselves. But as the season went, they gotten better and better. But, you know, I was high. I had a serious high ankle sprain where I was wearing one high top shoe and one low top. That's how bad my ankle was sprained. My ankle was purple. Wow. And people didn't like I would literally have to sit in a tub of ice after they came in. I think I sprained it in West Virginia and came home. I had to sleep in the training room. That's how bad it was. They thought it might have been broke. That's true. Yeah. So now let me ask you, what was one of the toughest games that you, or one of the toughest teams you ever played? There's a lot of them, or somebody. Everybody is tough. Everybody's tough. But I mean, but if you're not if you're not paying attention, you will get your cock clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? True. You know, like you old oh, ain't mm -hmm. this. Because yeah. if you go into the game and say, "Oh, we know we're going to dominate them." You won't get hurt. Yeah. It is some it's some it's some dudes that's faster than me, yeah. stronger than me, got more intensity than me. So my my thing was respect all, fear none. There you go. True. So you know, I went out there with that. You know, it, I don't got my clock cleaned on national team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're running back. Yeah, you, you know, know I got you know, I got hit and, and I done did some hit. But it so. had, but is there a team that sticks out to be like, well, I got you know, I play against these jokers. There's this dude out there that's. He, you know, he got my number, or he out there. I He's say Southern there. Mississippi. Oh, okay. Southern Mississippi. And them Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they don't hit their clack. You know how to pass clack? clack. Yeah, that, that Almost clack. Like they brought it down to a science. That, like they had that plastic science. on plastic. Yeah, they had it down to yeah. a science. Like, yeah, they didn't hit you boys clack. Yeah, yeah. like, I, before that game, I took about I should say in the NBA. It is halftime down in Charlotte and behind the running of Scott Harley, East Carolina leads North Carolina State 22-13. We'll be back with the second half kickoff right after this. Back at Erickson Stadium here at halftime, the Wolfpack has pulled to within nine points uh, after somewhat of a lackluster offensive performance in the first half, but it has been all big play day for East Carolina, particularly fullback Scott Harley. Oh, Scott Harley got off to a tremendous start. He's been the difference in the ball game. They haven't held him in check at all. Early on, a 75-yard run for a touchdown to get it going for a 7-0 
East Carolina lead. Got good blocking, cut back, great speed. Almost a carbon copy play. A little bit later, a 60-yard jaunt by Harley, but the NC defense...